Do you ever like to people watch? Man, there are some interesting people out there. Wait, somebody's coming this way. They're stopping at my house. They're getting out of the car. They're coming this way. In case I die today, let me see if I can characterize this guy. He had a hooked nose, a missing tooth, and he was wearing an all dark jumpsuit. Oh, and he was also limping on his right leg. And in his hand, he, w he was carrying a... Do I have to answer that? Good descriptions matter. They help us paint a picture of who a character is. Characterization is the process by which the writer reveals the personality of the character. To do that, we need to talk about direct and indirect characterization. Direct characterization is when the writer describes the character, well, directly. The author describes the character physically, may give us hair color or height. The author may tell us who exactly they are by using character traits, like they're a liar, or they're a thief, or maybe they're kind-hearted. Take a look at this example. Isaac was nervous about the upcoming test. Hey, the author tells you directly how Isaac is feeling. He is nervous. How about this one? Karen is very helpful at home. Once again, you have the author describing Karen directly. This is who she is. This is her current state. Or how about this one? Josh is untrustworthy. He steals things when you aren't looking. Gotta watch out for Josh. Indirect characterization is where the author reveals who the character is through hints. How does the author show us who they are? We have to analyze their speech and their actions. Let's do a pop quiz and see if you can show instead of tell. Going back to Isaac, how do I show that he's nervous? Let's do multiple choice. On a piece of paper or in your head, answer this question. Isaac blank while the teacher handed him the test. A smiled and waved. B bit his pencil and shook. C fell asleep. D rolled his eyes. Time's up. Did you pick B? If so, that's correct. Bit his pencil and shook is a way to show that Isaac is nervous. One more, how do I show that Karen is helpful at home? On the piece of paper in your head, answer this question. Mom, blank tonight? Karen asked. A, can you leave me alone? B, can you help me on my homework? C, do you need me to water the plants? D, can I go to my friend's house? Time's up. If you pick C, do you need me to water the plants? You're correct. But when it comes to indirect characterization, what do we even look for? Glad you asked because we use the steal method. The S stands for says. Look at their dialogue and even their tone. What they say and how they say it are equally important. If they use a lot of complex words, they are probably intelligent. They might have a dialect. Are they from the north? Are they from the south? Are they from another country? Do they speak slowly or do they speed through their words? Look at what a character thinks. What's going on inside their head? How are they really feeling about the situation? Their effect on others. Do your friends ever just make you smile? In stories, look to see how a character affects other characters. Do the others feel loved? Are they repulsed? How other characters react can be really helpful. Look at their actions. Do they have a fighting spirit? Are they selfish? Do they help others? And finally, their looks. We're not talking about whether they uh, have blue eyes or brown hair. This can be summed up in things like their expressions and how they dress. Do they scream when they're angry? Do they glare when they're upset? Do they cackle when they laugh? Do they have a sword and a pirate's hat? All of these things can help give you the hints that you need to figure out what kind of character this person is. So is direct or indirect better? Well, authors use both. You should show and tell, but don't rely too much on one or the other. As you can see, 
Using the steal method can help you determine what type of character you have. Guess I better answer that. Oh! Guess it was just the delivery guy. If you want to see the steal method in action, take a look here. I'll help. 